you are the chosen one, my friend. Let's go deeper into this topic. And I want to let you know that it is not just something spiritual. It is life. And I want to make it truly understandably why it is that way. Because many times we want to, you know, we want to manifest certain things and we want to get or create certain things. But the truth is that life is not about you. Life is about the idea that you are expressing. Life is about what we are adding to humanity. Life is about values that we are adding. And when it comes to the certain universal ideas, you know, sometimes when we just feel this urge to express something, it is something truly important and we will go deeper into that. So there was also one story about the Michael Jackson. He was like all the time, he was calling his manager at 4 a.m. in the morning about certain idea. Hey, you need to write this down. And his manager was like, hey, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. And he was like, yes, but you need to write it down because if we will not make it, someone else will. And this is really powerful. If we are able to understand it, when you feel an urge, to create something, to express something, to write something, to draw something, to, you know, when we feel this inspiration, when we feel this fire inside us, once I made a painting about this, the fire inside us, which is expressing, it is urging to express, but it's up on us if we will truly express it. So if we will not express it, the universe will choose a different host which will express it. So sometimes it happens that people feel certain idea, but then they don't take action on that idea. And soon after that, they find someone else which just created what they felt a few days before. And this is just a short representation what can happen if you will not take action on your idea. So let's make it understandable. When we say, when we are talking or we are saying universe, we are using the term of the universe. But actually the best word to say it is this infinite divine intelligence or infinite force of consciousness, which is expressing through all of us. So let's say that this is this what we, we are saying universe, one word, one frequency, right? And when universe choose a certain host, here will be a certain host, body, right? A certain host, we say you are the chosen one because you, the universe choose you to express this idea and if you will not take action on that idea, this idea will be transformed to someone else. And it makes sense then when we are talking, let's say, about certain musician artists, certain artists, they didn't get famous because, because their name or whatever. They get famous because of the music or painting or something they've created. Firstly, the music became famous and the music is actually a byproduct of a certain idea. When the music got, became famous, eventually the artist became famous. And most of the times people want to be famous, people want to have money, but they are not ready to take action first. They are not ready to take action on ideas because they don't believe that it's possible. They don't believe that a certain idea can create a really huge beneficial change. But actually everything starts in the idea. This is the idea. This is the idea. Idea expressed through each individual. If we are not taking action on that idea, this idea will be just, like I said before, transformed to a new host and that new host will express it. If he or she will not, it will go to a, certain, to a new one and to a new one. It's same as <laughs> we can use virus. You know, virus, 
we are just a host for a certain virus if we get it and the virus will always go to a person which is weaker which immune system is weaker you know and here is just the opposite when we are more open we are more ready to receive an idea so when you're visualizing it's a it's truly a good one when you're visualizing let's say i want to be rich and you're visualizing that huge amount of money that you already have the first thing that you will manifest and you will manifest it really fast will be a new idea maybe it will be something totally new maybe you will feel the urge to start painting or start writing or start i don't know writing a book or poetry or whatever and usually people don't take actions like i said before not because they can't do it because they don't feel it's worth but because they don't believe that this idea can be truly huge but i can tell you that if you will take action on that idea you will be flowing with the universe because if you will take the action on that idea you can see it here if you will take that action with the idea it means that you will start flowing with that force universe gave it gave you that idea and if you will take action you will start flowing with it and you will start manifesting greater and greater results because you will start adding something truly divine something truly infinite something truly positive to humanity you will start influencing more people more people will be touched by your idea and more people will be touched it means more lives you are changing and it is really powerful because you're here you're here you're actually like every single great artist is saying the same way i'm not creating it something is moving through me which is creating it and i can say it as well all the paintings that i've created every time when i'm painting i just feel that something is moving through me it's not me at the first place something is moving through me i'm just you know i'm just a tool for doing it i'm i'm expressing it but i could choose not to and i'm not sure what would happen but what i am sure is that i would never be so happy about my life that i am right now and <laughs> so when we are talking about the chosen one we are talking about you have been chosen to express this idea if you will not express it someone else will because life is not about you life is about the whole humanity the whole planet the whole life life is about everything so when you're adding a value when you're adding something beneficial when you're truly open yourself for expressing this force through you you will be rewarded big time you will be re rewarded with all the manifestations that you desire and you will learn that it is truly not about those manifestations it is truly about who i am becoming while all this process is happening through me because you know when we are expressing ourselves i hope this drawing is understandable <laughs> when we are expressing ourselves we are constantly learning we are constantly learning so the universe is expressing through us that's one way but what we are learning experiences we are get we are sending this knowledge back to the universe to the divine mind divine intelligence so more we are expressing ourselves through through us more we are expressing it more we are adding to that flow more we are creating life um, a positive experience so i'm sure like sometimes it can be hard to believe that it is truly happening but this is who we are we are life we are not just separated individuals moving through life uh, just experiencing it with 
uh, no meaning at all. We are one unity. We are one unity. But if we don't see life like that, we will not experience it like that. But once we open ourselves to see life as a unity, to see everything connected, then we will know that if we will express something truly meaningful through us, it will, it will inspire at least a few other human beings which will be looking to do something similar. And that's what we are doing. We are here to inspire. We are here to evolve. We are here to give. We are here to grow. And this is it. If you think that being a chosen one is something spiritual, it's because it was shown that way in movies or, I don't know, maybe you read something about it. Maybe someone else told you, maybe because of the church. But truly we are just like everything physical is just an expression of spiritual everything physical let's say i have it here because we are talking a lot about it so like consciousness is expressing itself into a manifestation of the soul so the manifestation of consciousness is a soul but if we go deeper, soul needs a physical body so it can feel, it can touch, it can hear, it can see, you know, it can experience physical life, so it needs physical body. And if physical body wants to identify itself, so we can say, oh, I am this, I've created this, it will design an identity. And this is this, uh, we could say, a chain reaction from consciousness, the soul, the physical body, to identity. And identity creates our reality. Identity creates our personal reality. This is our personality. Personality creates our personal reality. And when we are talking about manifestation then, if we want to change our personal reality, we always need to change our identity first. We need to change our personality, how we are thinking, how we are feeling and how we are reacting. As soon as we start changing our thoughts, we will change something in our life. We will feel differently. And if we will take actions on new thoughts, we will experience a change in our reality. And with each new thoughts, we actually open ourselves. We open ourselves so the universe can express new thoughts through us if it's still understandable. And if we are willing to do it, if we are willing to change our thoughts, soon we will feel, oh, I want to think about that. Maybe a certain video will pop up to you that you will watch it and you will experience new thoughts, new inspiration, and you will feel this urge to create a change but if you will not take action after a few hours you will not feel it anymore and you will fall back into your old self old personality so you need to take action immediately you need to take actions immediately and this is it for today my friends you are the chosen ones every single one of you and if you will take actions on your ideas that you are getting all the time, truly all the time you are getting them, the question is, are you truly aware of enough to understand them or to, to just be aware of them? I'm talking about meditations many times because meditation can help us to become more aware of what is happening behind all the analytical thinking. What is truly happening when we turn off our analytical mind, when we stop analyzing? When we stop analyzing, we become open for receiving. We become truly more acceptable for ideas. And soon at that moment, we will receive something, truly. Because I know that I, that's where I'm receiving ideas for my next paintings visions. I need to calm down my analytical mind. I need to get into my alpha brainwave state. I can feel it. I know that I'm there. 
because as soon as I step there, I get new idea, I get new vision. And with that vision comes like a strong feeling. And when this feeling comes to my brain, I can, I can understand the meaning behind that vision. I know exactly what it represents. And when I think about what kind of value it can add to humanity, I feel such a powerful urge to create it, to express it onto the canvas. And that's it. And it's not about being gifted or talented. It's about taking actions on those ideas. So this is it, my friends. I'm sending you all lots of love and blessings. Have a beautiful day and see you soon. Namaste.